Here, here's some of the deal. I mean, you know, so just to, um, like, I, I don't understand a lot of this. You know, when people start talking about studies and people start getting deep into the weeds, um, I'm not a scientist or doctor and I don't follow it and I don't know how your cells in the body react to it and all that stuff, nor do I claim to know. <laughs> It's been a while and it seems to be the appropriate time to assign the next professor of the month. So let's get this started. Mark Bell, as you see here, is a very driven man who has made huge strides in the fitness community. The guy has squatted over a thousand pounds. He runs a free gym called Super Training Gym and he's the creator of the Slingshot. All these things are great and I would assume no one else would have a problem with all the good things Mark Bell has done for the lifting community and I would agree I would I would say so as well too that no problems with all the good things and the positivity that Mark Bell has brought to the lifting community he's constantly releasing new content about different training and motivational modalities or different weight loss schemes but unfortunately Mark has a tendency to wander into the wrong lane when he starts talking about diet. I'm seeing a lot of people get great results going on a vegan style diet. That is not a style that I would do. It's not a style that I would suggest. It's, not, it's nothing that I've ever tried before. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Mark Bell is talking about a vegan style diet and it's not something that he do and it's not something that he would suggest even though he doesn't understand it and he doesn't know how to read a basic peer-reviewed science article. I don't understand a lot of this. You know, when people start talking about studies and people start getting deep into the weeds, um, I'm not a scientist or doctor and I don't follow it and I don't know how your cells in the body react to it and all that stuff. Well, I guess this case is closed. Mark doesn't know how to read peer-reviewed studies and openly admits to not being able to, yet he is saying he wouldn't advise people to eat a vegan diet because I don't know, to support the bias of his taste buds and wallet maybe? This guy is sponsored by two companies that I'm aware of, that being Perfect Keto and Piedmontese. Now, I'm just gonna speculate here, but if Mark Bell starts telling people to eat a low-fat, whole foods, plant-based diet because, you know, it's been clinically proven to reverse and cure disease, or having people on his podcast that promote such a lifestyle, do you think that would influence Perfect Keto on how much money they're going to be paying Mark as an affiliate? What if Mark Bell starts advising people to eat less meat in the form of cow flesh, beef? Do you think Piedmontese would get pretty pissed off about that? I'm not a scientist, but I am a businessman and I would say yeah. Both companies would get pretty pissed off if Mark would do such a horrendous act. I mean. How dare he tell people to eat less of the foods that are contributing to the leading causes of death in the westernized world to humans and the hellish unnecessary enslavement and slaughtering of billions of animals each year. I mean, the nerve it would take to do such a thing. Mark also falls heavily back on anecdotal experiences to support his bias because again, he doesn't read any type of scientific peer-reviewed articles, so all he's got is his own experiences or what supposed experts and professionals tell him, like Sean Faker. I mean, <clears throat> oh, I don't, I don't know what came over you. I mean, uh, Baker, Sean Baker. Oh. Let me just give you guys a little bit of a heads up. I come from this gym bro culture and I know how these brohemes talk. It's exactly like any other group of people that stay within their circle or their own little echo chamber, if you will, and they consult professionals to approve their bad dietary habits and blocking out any evidence that goes against what they want to believe by using excuses like I'm not a scientist or doctor. Now I'm not a scientist. All the stereotypical comments about me heads unfortunately for the most part are true. If you want to get big you gotta eat meat. The best protein comes from animal protein. Blah. You gotta do the diet that works best for you. Blah. blah, blah, blah. Stupid, outdated bro knowledge bullshit that people are still following today because they think advising people to eat 
more plants and less meat is some type of evil agenda against their health, the planet, and saving animals. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. I don't have the understanding of, because I've never tried it and because I don't have a lot of experience with it, I don't have the understanding of how a vegan diet could potentially help an athlete uh, uh, more so than what Stan Efferding's suggesting. Fair enough, then why is he suggesting Stan Efferding's diet or any animal-based diet is better than a whole foods plant-based diet if he doesn't know the science. He doesn't know both sides of the story, yet he's very quick to lean to one side of the story very heavily. Having like Brian Shaw, Hapthor, Bjornsson shift over to like a vegan diet, mm -hmm. I can't see how it'd be helpful. Now, if we're talking about longevity, I think the jury's still out on that. You can point to evidence on either side and, and make up whatever evidence you want for each one. No, the jury is still not out on that. We know from a population-based standpoint that eating less animal products decreases your chances of acquiring diabetes, cancer, hypertension, and pretty much all death, any types of death you can think of. And which, by the way, Hathor Bjorsen is being coached by Stan Efferding or was being coached by Stan Efferding. I'm not sure. Either way, he has high blood pressure. Blood test, which is for uh, my blood pressure. Wonder what caused that. You see, this is the beauty in all this, or the treachery behind it, whatever, however you want to look at it. Science doesn't care what Mark Bell or Stan Efferding thinks. You see, when studies are not designed with an agenda to give you a warm and fuzzy, as the beef, dairy, and egg industries like to do, science can give you a nice jolt of reality. And guess what? Sometimes reality proves you wrong with, you know, some so with the science accompanied by it. And don't get it twisted. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be wrong. What really matters is what are you going to do once you know you're wrong and you know what the right answer is. Like Vegan Gains wants to help people become more healthy. Um, so does Stan Efferding. And yeah, does he though? I mean, I, it's like he he kind of he kind of comes at people, right? Like he gets people on his platform and he seems yeah. to like be really breaking them down. Whether Vegan Gains wants to help people or not is irrelevant to what the science states. Who gives a flying fuck what Vegan Gains motive is to whether he wants to help people or not? Which by the way, I could say the same thing about Stan Efferding. Does Stan Efferding want to help people get healthier or does he just want to make sure he sells more bullshit prepackaged meals with a firm professor justification to continue needlessly exploiting other sentient beings to satisfy the wants of his pockets and taste buds? Does Stan Efferding really want to help people if all he wants to do is neglect science and cherry pick science to what suits his bias, which by the way, I'm not saying it's wrong to be an entrepreneur or make money or have a business. That's not what I'm saying. I support entrepreneurs 100%. I'm just saying don't be a piece of shit while you become an entrepreneur or a businessman or an owner, whatever the case, a business owner, whatever. But it, whatever, it all makes sense because meat is healthy, isn't it, Mark? Just for sake of argument, I'm gonna say that the following things are fairly healthy. Meat, eggs, um, vegetables, fruit, uh, and some like starchy carbohydrates, potatoes and rice, right? Meat, eggs, vegetables, fruit, and starchy carbohydrates are healthy for humans to consume. I mean, he got three out of five correct, but I mean, that's a failing grade to me, but what does my opinion matter in all this crap? I've already covered why animal products are not healthy in a playlist. I created, but let's sum up real quick why animal flesh, that being meat and chicken periods are not healthy. First and foremost, the most obvious and forefront reason why meat and eggs are not healthy is because of the saturated fat, trans fat, and dietary cholesterol that are found in both of these products. Any intake above zero of these substances is considered not to be healthy as it raises serum LDL cholesterol levels, an established risk factor for some of the many chronic diseases in the westernized world due to its ability to inflame and clog arteries. As much as the gym bros want to say that cholesterol and saturated fat 
doesn't raise serum cholesterol levels or have an effect on cholesterol levels is not true unless you're already sick with high cholesterol, which most of the people Mark Bell is surrounding himself with, including one of the so-called experts he relies on for advice, that being Sean Faker, I mean, excuse me, Sean Baker, have high cholesterol. Prolonged heightened LDL cholesterol levels above 70 milligrams per deciliter puts you at risk of accelerating atherosclerosis that much more than what would be considered optimal. This is established medical science. No question about it. Of course, just to add a bit more, we've got issues with certain high levels of concentrated forms of amino acids, leucine and methionine, which can easily be overconsumed if animal products are a staple in a person's diet on a daily basis. From day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year, you're gonna start having problems if you continuously overconsume these amino acids. There's also the HCAs and heme iron, which are cancer promoting, just to put the cherry on top. That's just skimming the surface, but it's okay. Hey, because Mark knows the answer if you start feeling weak and skinny when following the carnivore diet. And then at, at that point, if you feel like you lost a lot of weight and you feel like you're getting a little stringy and you're getting a little scrawny looking, throw in a fucking potato, throw in some rice, throw in a little bit of carbohydrate. Whenever you feel like you've gotten like as, as you exhausted all the options with the carnivore diet and it feels really good to you. Why not mix the carbs? Why not throw a little bit of carbs back in to help build some muscle mass again? Yeah. What I don't understand is why would you even get yourself to this scrawny state to begin with? If the carnivore diet makes you feel like shit, then why are you doing it? If the answer to reestablishing re muscle mass is more carbohydrate consumption to refill glycogen stores and start feeling like a human again, then why even do this carnivore nonsense? Do you like exploding diarrhea? Check out Red Pill Vegan's video, it's hilarious. He's all over this crap, this nonsense with Joe Rogan, all this other crap. So, if the answer is whole plant foods to keep yourself from feeling like shit, why not just eat the plants and leave it at that? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Mark Bell, my dude, my bro -heme, my bro. Here is your award. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. To be honest, uh, I really like Mark Bell. I think there is hope for him. I really do believe he can change. I just hope he changes in time before something really bad happens to him, like a medical scare, because he looks like he's a great friend and a great leader to the people around him. He looks like a loving father and husband to his wife, a great brother to his brother, uh, Chris, and he's an entrepreneur, and I hope he can make the change because I genuinely do like the guy. I think he's got a huge heart, and I really do see good in him i think he's a good person um you know i just don't know what to do i hope i hope he changes i hope he can be more of a positive influence in regards to proper nutrition that's it please let me know what you think in the comment sections down below as you know i love to engage with all of you you know i appreciate all of you please feel free to like subscribe and hit the ding dong button i'm the natural hoaxer i want to thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next one